Thanks for tuning in to DCAC TV Kid Zone. I'm your host, Miss Hoy, and look what I have again this week. It's my ukulele. Now, I've been doing some thinking, and I thought maybe some of you have a ukulele at home too, and hey, maybe you'd like to play along with me. So, a little later in the episode, I'm going to show you how to play a song on your ukulele. And it's going to be the song that we sing together at the beginning of this episode. So, let's jump in, eh? Okay, so behind me, on the chalkboard, there's a clue of the song that we're going to sing together. What's different on the chalkboard this week? Do you see? Yeah, it's the ABCs. You all know the ABC song, right? I thought so. Okay, are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Won't you please come sing with me? Hey, great job! Now, I have a little bit of a surprise for you. Did you know that the melody, that is the way that the song, the ABC song goes, is the exact same as another song? Do you know what song I'm talking about? Yeah, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So that's the song that we'll learn a little bit later in the episode. But for now, I'm gonna play it a little bit less fancy so that if you're a beginner ukulele player, you can play along with me. So we should be transitioning to a screen where it's half chords and half me, and you can see the chords and play along. And here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. everybody look I have my own little twinkly star great job oh so great so make sure to stay tuned in the episode if you'd like to learn how to play twinkle twinkle little star on your ukulele but for now we have our own little twinkly star visiting the show today we have Taryn visiting and she's here to tell us a couple really important things so in the midst of this scary time it can feel like we're kind of in the dark but it's really important that we find the light in the darkness. And Taryn's here to tell us a couple things that are making her feel not so great, but also some things that are making her happy. So let's hear what she has to say. I like being in isolation. I'm with my family, so they like help me a lot. They play with me. We play badminton. We go on bike ride, we play basketball, soccer, board games, and my mom makes really good treats. Hey! Here's Presley. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mustache. Oh, mustache who? Mustache you a question, but I'll shave it for later. Oh! Everybody give a warm welcome to Greg from the Boys and Girls Club, who's back with another magic. Let's begin. We start with six cards. I want you to look at one of them. Just one. Focus. Focus very hard on your card, and only your card. Etch it into your mind. Now, I'm going to collect the six cards. I'm going to shuffle them. Then I'm going to look through them, and I'm going to pick your card. This one. This one goes away. Let's see what cards we have left. There are five cards left. Is yours with them? 
No, that's because I threw it away a moment ago, remember? There you have it. I read your mind through the computer screen. There's the trick. Do you want to know how it's done? Maybe you already figured it out. Take some time to rewind if you want. Go back, see if you can work it out yourself. If not, I'll tell you how it's done. Let's rewind a bit, see if we can see how it's done. So here's the first set of cards. This time I want you to look at all of them. Try and remember all six. Fast forward to the next set of five. Do you see what I did? That's right. There's one fewer card, but all the other cards are different too. No matter which card you pick, of course it's not on the second screen. They're all new cards. There you have it. A quick trick you can show your friends at home. Tell them all about how the staff at the Boys and Girls Club can read people's minds. Enjoy your magic. I'll see you next time. Here's Presley. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hawaii. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm quite fine, young sir. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around for the second half of the episode, guys. This is your ukulele lesson. So there's a couple things we have to do first. Let's look at our left hand. So when I tell you how to play the chords in the ukulele, we need to know what the numbers of our fingers are called. So we have our thumb, we have our first finger, our second finger, our third finger, and our fourth finger. Let's do it one more time all together, okay? First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger. You got it, awesome. And then next up, we have to look at a couple parts of the ukulele. So these spaces right here, where I'm moving my finger in between, those are called our frets. So from right here, this is called the nut of the ukulele. Going this way, we have first fret, second fret, third fret. And those are the ones that we're gonna look at today. Now, we also need to know the numbers of the strings on our ukulele. So at the very bottom, this string right here, is the first string, second string, third string, and the fourth string. Can you take your thumb and pluck those strings with me? So we have the first string, second string, third string, and the fourth string. Awesome! So if we put all of those things together, that's how we figure out our chords. So for instance, I'm going to use my third finger, so my ring finger, on the third fret, one, two, three, on the first string. Only takes one finger to play the C chord. Can you find that with me? So I'll break it down. Third fret, one, two, three. We're gonna use our ring finger right here on the first string. There you go, and that's a C chord. Way to go. Now the next one, we need two fingers. So I need you to find your first fret. First fret, yeah, way to go. And then we're gonna put our first finger or your pointer finger right here on the second string. Yep, yeah. now leave that one there. And then you need to put your second finger or your middle finger on the fourth string right up here on the top in the second fret. So it should sound like this, listen. Yeah, way to go. Now the last chord, you need three whole fingers. Um, but you're going to put your first finger right here on the second string in the first fret. You're going to put your second finger or your middle finger on the third string in the second fret, just like that. And then your third finger or your ring finger on the first string in the second fret as well. So it sounds like this. Yeah, and that's a G7 chord. Now that was pretty fast. So remember, you can find the episodes on the DCAC page and watch that all back again. Plus, I'll uh, post a little bit of a helpful page for you that breaks everything down. Okay, so we're gonna play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. We're just gonna do single strums. So when I say that, that means... Let's do that a couple times on the C chord. Are you ready? So C, remember where the C chord is? Right like that, you got it. Okay, now let's do four down strums of C. Ready? One, two, three, four. Yeah! Okay, 
So I would recommend if you're new to these chords, C, F, and G7, I would just do some down strums on each of them. Practice going C, F, G7, and switching between them. But we're gonna jump to playing the song together, okay? Ready? Just a little bit of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Ready? again sometime soon. Let me know a song that you might want to learn to play on the ukulele. And if you do learn Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or ABCD with the same chords, maybe you can show us a video of you playing and hey, maybe we can feature you in one of the upcoming episodes. Now we have one more special guest and like always, it's our musical guest on the end of the show. And today we have Sarah playing her ukulele too, singing her favorite Disney song. Let's go to Sarah, I'll see you guys next week. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and we're gonna be doing a Disney sing-along. So I want you to think really hard of your favorite place and I'll do the same. All right, let's go. So I thought I'd bring you to mine. So we're going to be singing How Far I'll Go from Moana. I want to hear your nice, big voices. I've been staring at the edge of the water long as I can remember, never really knowing why. I wish I could be the perfect daughter, but I come back to the water no matter how hard I try. I take every trail I track, every place I make, every road leads back to the place I know where I cannot go, where I long to be. See the light where the sky meets the sea, it calls me.